Hey, what up, superstars? This is Bob Bad on me. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys one of the best hunter builds in Destiny 2 Lightfall for PvE. And guys, this build is so broken in PvE that you could take this into PvP and dominate as well. And some of you guys are brand new to Destiny 2 and you have no clue about this build, but I'm about to share it with you guys. And to be honest, this build is so broken that all your Destiny 2 friends will wait on you to do all the PvE engagements, and guys, you'll become their favorite guardian. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video so you'll know exactly how this build works and also so you could get your accommodation score up but also i definitely want to tell you guys welcome to the channel i definitely appreciate the support so this build is going to be centered around a Jer falcons harbor exotic chess piece for hunters so we could get infinite volatile and infinite devour so if you guys don't know with volatile rounds the target is afflicted with unstable void energy and it will explode upon taking additional damage also volatile rounds from your void weapons pierce the shields of barrier champions and stun them but with devour you're basically feasting on the energy of defeated foes so your final blows restore you to full health grant grenade energy and it extends devour now with jerk falcons your void weapons gain volatile rounds after you emerge from being invisible now when you are invisible and defeat a combatant while using a finisher all of your weapon gain bonus damage and you and your nearby allies gain a reserve overshield and improved class ability regeneration these reserves overshield can be deployed by using the ability so once your void ability ends, you're going to get granted volatile rounds for 10 seconds in PvE. Now in PvP, it's going to last for 3 seconds, okay? Now on your finishers, while affected by void visibility, you grant 35% increased damage for 6 seconds. It also grants you and your allies a 24 meter to the reserve overshield buff like I talked about. And this is what's crazy about the reserve overshield. It grants 375% additional base class energy regen rate it grants the user a 40 hp void shield for 10 seconds on class ability usage so the buff is removed on class ability usage so this bill using this is going to be very broken guys so this is how it's going to work once you come out of invis from using gur falcons it's going to perk volatile rounds now once you shoot an enemy it's going to apply volatile to it and then you're going to go invis because of stylus executioner and then you want to shoot again and rinse and repeat so you're just basically constantly going to be going in and out of invisibility so you're going to be constantly using this buff and only thing you have to do is just come out of invisibility to keep the chain going now you may be saying but i bet on me i don't have jer falcons how do i get it well you could get it from doing solo legend and master law sectors but then you may be saying i bet on me my light level is not high enough how do i still be able to take advantage of volatile rounds i got you covered so just go to your seasonal artifact and pick up the perk volatile flow Picking up an orb of power grants your void weapons volatile rounds. And later in this video, I'll show you how to have unlimited orbs so you'll be able to have that perked all the time. Also, down in the comment section, I would definitely love to know what you guys think about this build. Also, what is your best build that you're using for Destiny 2 Lightfall? Now, we're about to dive deep into the build regarding the aspects and the fragments that you want to use. But right before we do, let me show you some great weapons that you can use with this build. For our exotic, we're using the amazing Gravitar Lens. Why? Because Pulse Rifles are getting a 20% buff in PvE coming in the next few weeks, but also it has the trait Cosmology. Kills with this weapon cause enemy targets to detonate and spawn void projectiles. And on top of that, the projectiles tracks the targets. And this weapon has the trait Black Hole. Second shot of a burst rips a hole through space and time, doing high damage and recoil with no damage fall off. Guys, this is perfect for PvE and it's a beast in PvP as well. Whatever you do, make sure you get the Catalyst and Master working because not only is it going to add to your range and your aim assist, but it's also going to give you Vorpal Weapon, which increases damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with their super active, and also Turnabout. Using this weapon to break the shield of a combatant or a guardian using this super will grant you an overshield and on top of that graviton lance is a void weapon so as long as you use the artifact mod volatile rounds you will be able to perk the volatile rounds constantly now to my knowledge the only way to get the graviton lance is by buying it from Zer or from an exotic engram drop but it is random and for the catalyst it will randomly drop in destiny 2 crucible or destiny 2 strikes and for my other void weapon i'm using a retrofit machine gun but you can use pretty much any any void weapon will be good with this because of the volatile rounds. For the first aspect, we're going with Stylish Executioner. 
So defeating a weakened, suppressed, or volatile target grants invisibility and true sight. And after performing a execution, your next melee attack while invisible weakens targets. For our next fragment, we're going to use Vanishing Step because dodging makes you invisible. And remember, when we come out of invisibility, that's going to trigger the perk volatile rounds on Jer Falcons. Now for the first fragment, we're going to use Echo of Starvation because picking up a Void Breach or Orb of Power grants Devour. And remember, with the perk devour final blows restore your full health grant grenade energy and it extends devour man this is an amazing build i can stop right here and you're good to go this is going to be one of the best builds to use in destiny 2 but let's keep going so next we're going to use echo of harvest because defeating weakened targets with precision final blows created orb of power and a void breach then we're going to pick up those orb of power or the void breach to go ahead and perk devour again and you definitely want to use this third fragment which is echo Echo of Persistence because Void buffs applied to Invisibility, Overshield, and Devour have increased duration. For the final fragment, we're going with Echo of Reprisal because Final Blow surrounded by combatants grant you super energy. And speaking of supers, in PvE, we're going to go with the Shadow Shot Deadfall because that is the best super. Now, we're going to go with Marksman Dodge so we could constantly reload our weapon. Now, for our Void Melee, we're going with Snare Bomb because of the perk Weaken. The target takes increased damage and has their movement speed slowed. Afflicted combatants have difficulty firing accurately. And for the grenade, I'm going with Vortex Grenade, which you could go with pretty much any grenade that you like. I also like Magnetic Grenades as well. Alright, so now let's look at some armor mods that can help us enhance this build. Also, down below, I definitely want to know what you guys think about this build. Also, what's the best build you're going to be using for this season? So on the helmet, we're going with Final Wisdom, collecting the Orb of Power causes you to gain a Armor Charge. Now you gain a bonus to your Intellect while you have any Armor Charge. Intellects help with your Super Regenerate. Next is Harmonic Siphon because Rapid Void Weapon Final Blows create an Orb of Power. Next, Powerful Friends because collecting an Orb of Power causes nearby allies to increase their current Armor Charge by 1. For the arms, we're going with Bolstering Detonation, grants a class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade. Also, we have Shield Break because breaking a combatant shield with this matching damage type grants you armor charge and next firepower because your grenade final blows create an orb of power now for the chest we're using charged up because it increases the maximum number of stacks of armor charge you can carry by one next is fun of endurance because you gain bonus to resilience when you have an armor charge now for the legs we're going with insulation reduces class ability cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power orbs of restoration because picking up an orb of power grants a small amount of energy to ability with the least energy also void weapon surge because your void weapons gain a small bonus to damage while you have an armor charge. For the cloak bomber reduces grenade cooldown when using your class ability. Also we're using reaper. After using your class ability your next weapon final blows spawns an orb of power and then time dilation. Your decay armor charge has a longer duration. I just started back playing on my hunter so I don't have a lot of high stats for this build but this is what I have so far and if you're using this in PvP this is the stats that I have on my PvP build and you can just mix up the mods how you want to. So if you are looking for more Destiny 2 PvP and PvE builds for Hunter, Titan, and Warlocks, I would suggest you watch this playlist next. And don't forget to like and sub. Peace.